안녕하십니까 여러분 샤니입니다 아, 오늘 제가 여러분에게 전해드릴 이야기는 우리 인간은 그 살아가는 동안에 한 번쯤은 그 골밀도가 가장 높은 시기를 맞게 되는데요 그때의 골밀도를 아, 픽본 매스 픽본 매스라고 하는데요 아, 골밀도가 최고조에 달했다 피크에 달했다 이제 그런 이야기죠 그런데 제가 리서치를 하다 보니까 내셔널 오스테오 프로세스 파운데이션 그러니까 전미 골다공증 협회라고 번역을 할수 있을 텐데요 이 협회에서 근무하는 에텔 시리스 박사라는 분이 이 픽본 매스에 대해서 굉장히 간결하고 설명을 잘한 영상이 있어서 오늘은 이 영상을 영어 자막하고 한글 자막으로 동시에 보여드리도록 하겠습니다 You know, one of the fascinating things about the skeleton the system that we're trying not to break as we get older is that it's a living dynamic tissue and from the time you're born until you finish puberty when you're maybe 16 or 17 your bones are constantly growing and you're getting taller uh, when you get to be about 16 or 17 you stop growing in height but your bones thicken up a bit until you're late 20s, early 30s, when you achieve what we call your peak bone mass. And most of us are going to get to a certain level, a certain amount of bone in our skeletons as a function of our genetics. We're going to inherit a certain tendency to build a certain size skeleton. So the child of two very small framed people is likely to be smaller framed and have less bone. But it's very good quality bone. It's very, very well put together. So we achieve our peak bone mass, and in women, from the time you're maybe 30, when your peak bone mass has been reached, until menopause, for the most part, you're going to hang on to that much bone that you've made. You may lose a little, but not enough to be very clinically significant. After menopause is when you start to lose bone from whatever you showed up with, based on your peak bone mass. And of course, if you started out with a much bigger skeleton, and you start to lose, it's like having a bigger bank balance when you start making withdrawals. You've still got a fair amount left. But if you have a, a more average or a smaller peak bone mass, and you happen to have the bad luck that you lose rapidly because everybody loses bone at a different rate, much of which is also probably genetic, you may wind up some years later with a markedly diminished amount of bone. And as I said, when you lose it, you not only wind up with less, but you wind up with some damage to the structure of the bone, which can make it weaker. It's fascinating that we fully replace our skeletons about every seven years. And as long as the process that does this is well regulated, all is well. As we get older, this process becomes impaired. And that's when we get a loss of bone, a loss of bone structure, a loss of bone strength, and a greater risk of a break in a bone with a minimum of trauma. 오늘 이 교육 영상을 통해서 여러분들이 언제 골밀도가 어떻게 제일 높아지고 언제부터 나빠지는지를 충분히 이해하셨을 거라고 생각을 하는데요. 오늘 이 영상을 보시는 거에서 그치지 마시고 여러분들 가정에서 젊은 친구들 10대, 20대, 30대의 젊은이들에게 이 영상을 소개해 주시면 영상이 길지도 않고 또 영어, 한글, 자막도 다 들어있고 하니까 뭐 영어 공부하기도 좋고 그래서 한번 권해 주시면 크게 도움이 될것 같다 그런 생각을 합니다. 그럼 오늘 시간 여기서 마치고 여러분 건강하시기 바랍니다. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계십시오.